So Google Viz is an amazing R package that connects R to Google's visualization API. And it's, uh, extremely, it's a w extremely well developed R package and very well documented. So it's certainly worth uh, considering in this class. So we're just gonna go through a couple of examples of what you can do with Google Viz. And uh, I think from those, you'll get the picture and hopefully you'll be able to build off of it. But it offers a pretty amazing way to create interactive graphics leveraging the existing interactive graphics that Google already has. So let's go ahead and get started with some, some basic uses. We'll go through over some maps, we'll go over some plots and motion charts and things like that that are that are really diff would be really difficult for you to create on your own, but this uh, but connecting R with Google Viz makes it really easy, especially if you're familiar with R. Okay, so let's just get started with a motion chart. So let's go ahead and create our first plot. Now, a lot of the syntax in the way in which these notes, the R markdown notes are, are given, is really geared toward actually having the chart embedded in the R markdown slides. And if you load them up, you'll see that the Google Viz chart is actually part of the R markdown, of the HTML document that gets compiled when this document gets knitted. Okay, but so I'm just instead going to show you how to get the chart by itself and then get the raw HTML, for example. Okay, so let's just say um, we're doing library Google Viz. That just the suppress package startup messages obviously just suppresses the package startup messages. So let's go ahead and create our Google, our GViz motion chart. Okay, so fruits is a data frame. Okay, there you go. And you can see how it's set up. So fruits, um, it's it's got the different kinds of fruits apples oranges bananas the year the location sales expense profit date okay and you know if you I think if you want to create a motion chart you want to get it set up into something like this like a data frame like this okay so let's go ahead and run it and then the first thing you're going to want to see is you're going to want to be able to do is just be able to plot it by itself and actually see it. So what we've, what we've done is we've assigned the output of our GVIS motion chart to a variable M. So if you now if you just type plot M, okay, now it'll bring up a browser window and here's our plot. And so this is a lot like the Hans Rosling, or it's exactly like the Hans Rosling motion chart. So you can, you can click play and it shows you, um, it, it shows you things over time. Okay, and you can set what each of the scales are relative to the columns of your data frame. Okay, so maybe we want time on there and we want profit. Okay, so let's see fruit profits over time. So you can see it going up or down and you can uh, select whether you just show one or multiple or which one's highlighted. See, there you go. So I select apples. Okay, so it's a pretty clever little chart. Okay, and it actually also has different, you know, bar charts and line charts all in the same graph. Okay, so all of this is, is a collection of JavaScript that is, has been organized by the GViz um, R package. So if you want, what you can do is simply type print m okay and then it'll act it'll give you the relevant java the, the relevant uh, an h basically an html page so here here it is here you can see it defining the javascript data describing the javascript header and so on okay but if you go down here you see it, it actually creates the page where um oh, i can't see the beginning of the the beginning of the HTML, but there you can see the end of the HTML, the end of the body, and so on. Okay, so just the object M by itself, printing M, will print out the page, or you can say, for example, print M 
file equals, let's say, test.html, and it'll create this page for you, okay? I like to do plot, and then, of course, if you want to grab the HTML from the, from the page directly after you've done plot, you can, of course, do that. But this is probably the way you're going to use GViz. Um, either you're, you're first going to create it and use plot or something like that to debug it and get it looking right, and then you're just going to want to grab the relevant HTML code and JavaScript code and embed it in a different web page. Um, if you want to see how to embed it in, for example, slides or R Markdown, then just look at the actual R Markdown document for this lecture. Okay, so your homework after this first um, example is to just recreate this motion chart, make sure you can visualize it, make sure you can see it in a, in a, in a browser window, get Google Viz installed, and play around with a little bit. And then now we'll just work on to some other different types.